Hey guys. Bye. So I'm, I'm gonna read some poems. Uh, first one is called Hamster Balls for People. Natalie texts me tonight and asks if I'm dead, D-bag. And I'm like, no, I've been okay, just hanging in the recesses of my head. And when I say I've been hanging in the recesses of my head, trust that I do not think I'm Bob Dylan or something. The girl I live with has this hamster named Shug, as in sugar, as in poor little on me. And he runs around the living room in a hamster ball double his size. She says you can buy hamster balls for people and go running in the hills. And I'm like, that's dumb. What if you just go rolling off the side? I say things out loud sometimes that sound dumb even to me. I turn around and knock myself into the street like, so what? What now, punk? People are people too, you know. People are people too. And there's love in the time of war and the time of love. These words have big kid teeth. They hide out in your closet at night. And you really should try to avoid them like cannonballs or hand grenades. And if you find any, let's build a treehouse. One, store them there. Two, hunker down. Three, wait for winter. This one's called The Best of Frat Jams 2011. I want to know, when did you become so out with it? When did you stop laughing with me, not at me? I can't sleep past 5 a.m. I miss the sounds of your upstairs neighbors fucking lopsidedly to The Best of Frat Jams 2011. The right half of my body is weird and homeless without the left half of yours. I want to have the burgers or Chinese takeout G-chat debate at the end of our workday. Uh, so this one uh, is called Let's Make Love Like It's December 20th, 2012. Um, the world's supposed to end on December 21st, 2012. Because it, it didn't end this year. But that's the next time it's supposed to end. So, all right. 2012 is coming. Is the world going to end? If it is, then it is. And I'll die when I'm 26. I had this girlfriend once. We made an emergency escape plan that if California broke apart from the rest of the United States, we'd walk down the streets to each other's apartments and reunite among the chaos, assuming we still had legs and were still on speaking terms. After we broke up, there was an earthquake. And the next time I saw her, I was like, did you feel the earthquake? And she was like, did you think of our emergency escape plan? And I was like, yes. And then I was embarrassed. But it was too late to go back. And she says, baby, I knew you were scared and wants to hold me. Once I was playing a game and this iPhone ad said, we could all use more hugs and kisses. But if the world is going to end on December 21st, 2012, hugs and kisses are not going to stop it. This one's called, Let's Make the World So Quiet Again. If anybody asks, here's a story I like to tell. We met in the frozen food aisle the night the Giants won the World Series. I woke up with a panda bear biting on toaster waffles and never ate an ego the same way again. When you brushed my teeth in the bathtub, I crouched by your ears and shouted, baby, you must be a Facebook page because I like you. <laughs> this is the one where I meet my thoughts in a neutral setting and politely ask their intentions. I'm hiding my real feelings inside my underwear and hoping you just stumble on them eventually. There was a night you texted me from a bathroom in Oakland. Ha ha, I just saw us as an old couple. There's a card catalog of every gum wrapper we've ever chewed set to the Aladdin song parody I wrote for you. Your family name is an informal name of a former European province, is a Sufjan Stevens song, is a tourism website I have set on limited access. This is the thing about you. You want to be with someone for a long time who wants to be with you for a long time. How long is long? And what if the atomic bomb explodes in our bed tomorrow? If my teeth start falling out, if you forget how I like my waffles and the speed of Tim Lincecum's last pitch. If this is the choose your own adventure, then please tell me how I'm supposed to proceed. This is the laser that zaps us at night. Sometimes I worry that I don't have real worries 
just first world problems. Like tonight, there's a party in my house, and everyone is invited. But the beds are hollow props, so you can sleep under the stairs, inside my coat pocket, or on top of me. Are you stuck in airplane mode? Is that why I haven't heard from you in weeks? I heard Natalie Portman had a baby, and no one gives a shit. BRB, I'm going to get a pacifier. Let's make the world so quiet again. And uh, continuing on the theme of disasters, this, this one's called, I didn't cry at the end of Titanic. True story. Saw it many times, didn't cry once. <laughs> this one day you flew to Berlin, and then later you flew back home, and I rode my bike to your apartment. Outside it was hot and windy, and we laid under your sheets. We listened to the Beach Boys. I made you come. I got on top and said I loved you. I shouldn't just said, fuck Walt Disney. You're the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Let's commit a crime so we'll get caught and do time together. Let's steal puppies from DeBose Bose Park. You had brought some German chocolate. You had been gone for too long. And uh, this is my last one. Thanks for listening. And it's called, I Should Have Been an Astronaut. I've resolved to spend the weekend shooting words from my backside like blood beneath a suture, but hopefully without the bedpans and soggy mess. I will read about Mars. I will eat pizza with Brendan to celebrate his 25th year on Earth. My girlfriend calls me from halfway down the state of California, and I know one day she will read this. There's a picture of her on my phone, stuffed tiger in her arms, looking unnerved in a sea of pandas. She says she's crazy about me, and I'm relieved. But later that evening, I Google the phrase to find out what strangers think this might mean. Every Friday at 2 p.m., I feel strongly that I should have been an astronaut. In the pros column, make a note that you never have to iron your shirt or hide out in the conference room eating baby carrots ever again. When we lose touch with ground control, I will update my Facebook status. I will bravely step through the hatch, arms out like Superman on the evening commute. You'll see it at the planetarium. I will slowly lose oxygen and die in the galactic anticlimax. You'll roll onto my side of the bed. You'll forget to hang your towel or floss daily. Things I'm thankful for today include this blue bed and artificial heat, red boxers with pictures of clocks, the idea of days different than the last, and an extra long french fry that fits down my throat, forming a cubicle wall in my stomach where I proudly hang old pictures of us grinning down on earth from on top of a lunar crater, peanut butter sandwiches, and chocolate milkshakes in hand. Thank you.